Hey guys, Tuesday morning. I appreciate all the views and comments yesterday's video. I feel like it was, I feel like I did a good job explaining things and uh, putting things in perspective in terms of uh, you know that particular red flag to look for. So yeah, I ended up picking up new customer in the neighborhood yesterday. I feel like I got a good price for it. That's definitely something I'm going to be doing. Uh, I tend to give my neighbors a good deal at times. You know, to be honest with you. Uh, people around my house and whatnot but yeah i really need to raise the price up on the mowing especially uh, for next year so yeah i'll, I'll be going up five ten dollars a cut you know a lot of the customers around around my neighborhood around my house that kind of thing guys so yeah uh, yeah y'all i mean so important very important get the best price you can get i want to bring up something uh i think it's russell from gwinnett and uh, i think his name's gibson started watching some of his short videos recently and uh, they've been bringing up you know pricing and you know, they got a very high minimum which i understand having that especially in like russell's case when he's been in business as long as he has and he's very knowledgeable and obviously knows what he's doing i think he lives in atlanta yeah he lives in atlanta suburbs so yeah he's in a big city obviously you're gonna have a lot of good neighborhoods with you know some wealth in it a lot of you know wealthy people that kind of thing so yeah i think he said his minimum is 89 dollars, which honestly is high uh, it's not that I don't necessarily agree, disagree with it. I mean, I agree with a lot of the points he's making. I just want to make a, uh, <clears throat> want to make a, uh, distinction or a comment. Well, I think you got to be careful about having a minimum that high. I think Gibson said his was 80, 85. And frankly, Gibson was making the, you know, making some videos, talking to, various potential customers where they're pretty much, you know, telling them that's way too high, you know, cause they were previously paying 60 to 70, that kind of thing. But when he comes in there and tells them it's going to be 85, he basically prices himself, prices, prices himself out of a job, potential job, so to speak. When you're so low and uh, Russell made this point when I agree with it, you know, once you build your customer base up, you can kind of start dissolving the bottom and uh, raising your prices or bringing in newer, more profitable customers. But, you know, when you're like me, you got a few guys working for you, you generally need a higher volume of customers, especially if you're going to keep guys on throughout the winter. So, yeah, I have, uh, you know, close to 240 right now properties that I mow. And not, I frankly don't have a whole lot of help, to be honest with you. But with two trucks and the equipment I have, I'm able to do the, the properties that I have, the amount of properties that I have. So yeah, y'all, I just want to make a point uh, now. I just think you got to be very careful about having, especially if you have guys working for you, because you're going to need that volume of properties. Like I said before, I feel like I think it's easier for solo people to have a higher minimum. I think you should, if you are solo and you've built your customer base up and you really know what you're doing, do good work. I feel like you can command that higher price. But, uh, but still, I want to make this point, even if you're solo, and you're stuck on that high, super high minimum. In my area, even though I live in a good area, you know, a lot of these smaller yards, quarter acre, half acre of the yards, if you're stuck on that minimum price, that high minimum, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of good properties, a lot of good profitable 50 to $60 cuts that you can make a lot of money on, especially if you get a good volume uh, of customers that are close together, that kind of thing. Cause I mean, a lot of these people are gonna, frankly, they're gonna laugh in your face if you tell them, you know, uh, 90 bucks, you know, for a small yard that literally takes you 15, 20 minutes to do. So yeah, that's the point I'm going to make. You're going to, you're going to lose out on a lot of easy, profitable mows, prop properties, if you have a super high minimum. Okay. So yeah, a lot of these people, they ain't going to pay that. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, a lot of these yards are easy, easy to mow. Uh, don't have a lot of weed eating. And uh, you know you can you know, make good profit charging fifty. I'm gonna bring up a couple. I got a couple situations today where I'm gonna have some good route density and some <clears throat> you know some uh, clusters of yards that are back to back to back, that kind of thing. And just bring up some points about that. I've already got something in mind that I'm gonna bring up a good point. But anyway, y'all, yeah, I just just wanted to bring that up. I'm not saying Russell's wrong by any means. Uh, if he can do that, if he can get that price, great. And if you can too, that's great for you. But I'm going to say the majority of the areas in the country, you know, you're going to have a hard time getting that kind of price uh, for a lot of these yards, especially if they're smaller, you know, especially if you've got a lot of competition, that kind of thing. So, yeah, even though you may 
be the best out there and do a great job and all that, but there's plenty of other guys out there that do a good job, y'all, that ain't gonna be charging that much. And those potential customers are gonna be going to them in a lot of cases. So I just think you gotta consider that, y'all, when it comes to setting a minimum, super high minimum price, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll bring up some situations that I feel like are important to talk about and, uh, you know, in terms of my business and some of the yards I'll be doing today. So I'll bring those up. We'll get some footage and talk about some other things too. Yeah. Hope you're having a great day, guys. Uh, talk to you later. Hey guys, make a quick point real quick. Just me and Justin today. Trying to get a lot of these bush jobs done. You saw me just get some footage. Uh, now that the grass is slowing down, that kind of thing, guys. Yeah, yeah. So this is obviously an example of a bush that's misplaced. It's a crepe myrtle, obviously. I need to just tell them to take it out. Maybe they'll take it out in the winter. See, it's just too close to the house. I mean, I, that's why I trim it up like a bush, but it needed it. Cause it's really taking over the side of the house. Yeah, I went ahead and trimmed it up. It ain't gonna kill. I usually do this a couple times a year, but yeah. Try to knock out a lot of these bush jobs now that things are slowing down with the grass and the bushes won't need it again. But yeah, quick point I want to make when I do these bush jobs, I'm trying to do them and schedule them the same day I'm mowing. That way uh, we can mow, clean all the clippings up and mow at the same time, be more profitable. So yeah, if you got a customer, you know they're gonna have their bushes done soon, go ahead and schedule it the same day you're gonna mow it, if that makes sense, y'all. But yeah, I thought I'd throw that point out there. Hope you're having a good one. Hey guys, I'm gonna out. I'll make a quick point real quick in terms to overpricing or having a minimum that's really high. Yeah, I got these three right here. One, two, three in a row. Uh, one's a 45 and two's a 50. So Justin's finishing up blowing. But yeah, we'll, uh, that's $145. It'll take us about 30, 35 minutes to do, guys. So yeah, none of those customers there, if I told them I was gonna be charging 90 bucks, uh, we'll go for that, so yeah. Yeah, I consider that y'all. I mean, uh, these aren't obviously super nice houses. One's a rental, another two are homeowners here, but yeah, I've been doing their yards for a couple years. They pay on time, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, 
you gotta consider that when you set your minimum really high, you're gonna be missing out on some really good profitable yards and situations. And this situation got three in a row. So uh, yeah, 145 in 30 minutes. So yeah, chances are if your minimum's 90, you're not gonna get any of these customers here. And you're gonna miss out on the, uh, the route density and the fact they're all in a row here making some really good profit, really good money. It's just me and Justin, so we're knocking them out, making some money. Hey guys, a little after five now, I got home. I actually uh, went to Lowe's and bought 44 bags of mulch, guys. So yeah, like I mentioned before, I think it's really drying out in the eastern side of the country, especially in my area, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I'm not even really concerned about how many yards I'm mowing right now, to be honest with you. So yeah, me and Justin ended up mowing 14. I mean, it's just been so hot and dry. And this time of year, typically things just start slowing down anyway. But you add the heat and the drought being really dry, the grass is just basically put you can see my yard we mowed it almost two weeks ago and i mean it has some little uh some little shoots coming up from the bermuda you know with seed heads but yeah really don't need cut i mean uh, even my neighbor's yard's obviously the same way i was really originally planning on cutting this week but probably won't need it so yeah i'm not really concerned about that so in order to keep my revenue high each day even if it's just me and just i'm still trying to make a thousand plus a day in revenue even you know just one truck you know we'll be doing two trucks probably thursday yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to find uh, bush jobs, and in this case, most jobs. So I got a customer who wants to put out, uh, I, he told me around 40 bags of mulch, so I went ahead and just got 44. We'll make sure I got enough. And I'm trying to figure out how to charge, guys. I mean, I don't do a lot of mulch. I think Eddie mentioned, in the, mentioned it in the past. My thinking is, so the mulch cost me, I think it's 168, we'll say 170. So I'm thinking about just doubling it in terms of uh, you know the labor, and the cost of getting it and all that, the time it took, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm thinking another 170 on top of obviously the, co the fact that it cost me 170 in terms of laying the sod itself or the uh, the mulch itself, excuse me, that kind of thing for what I'll charge guys. But yeah, y'all uh, just throw that out there. We had a good day, me and Justin do. Probably on mode about 14. Talking more about the subject at hand, guys, just want to bring this up, kind of reiterate what I mentioned in the beginning. I think Russell's situation is unique. Uh, first of all, he lives in a really good area. You, know, you got a lot of people. I mean, obviously Atlanta is a big area, all the uh, suburbs around it, the cities around it. You're gonna have wealthier people in a lot of these neighborhoods. So yeah, he's got a really good area to choose from and to get those really profitable cus customers that he's talking about. But yeah, the majority of the people, and even me, even with me having a pretty good area that I'm in, 
I'm just telling you guys, a lot of these uh, $50 yards that take you by yourself, a lot of cases, you know, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes less, you know, those people aren't going to pay 90 bucks, you know, 99% of the time, at least in my area. So yes, yeah, really depending on the area, your circumstances that you're in, do you just want to remain solo? And you're not trying to really pick up, you know, a volume of customers like, you know, necessarily like I do, even though I'm pretty much at my limit now, unless I find some better help for next year, then maybe I can look at adding a lot more customers. But yeah, right now I'm pretty much at my limit with the labor situation that I have, that kind of thing. But yeah, uh, those are things you got to consider and think about. So yeah, if you're uh, set on being solo and you're not looking to, you know, you know, obviously have workers with you and that kind of thing. Yeah, you can probably do that, especially if you've been doing it for a while. You can try to you know, have a really high minimum and uh, go and try to, you know, get those yards where people are willing to pay that. But in most situations, you're going to have a hard time finding that realistically. And you can make a lot of money, all these $50 yards. Like I mentioned before in the clip of mowing those three yards, I guarantee you they wouldn't pay more than they, they yeah, I mean, if I told them 60, maybe, but I doubt they would pay much more than that. They're definitely not going to pay $90 to mow those yards. They just, you know, obviously I'm going to assume that they can't afford it. And frankly, guys, everybody right now, the economy being the way it is, inflation, you know, people are trying to save money if they can. So yeah, you got to take those things into consideration when it comes to deciding what your minimum is going to be. And I mean, if it's 80 plus, uh, I feel like if you're trying to grow your business, you're going to have a hard time picking up customers and a lot of those you know simpler yards that you know in my opinion are still profitable even if it's 50 bucks uh you know those the 50 dollar yards can really add up especially if you get them like i had in a row there or you know really good you know dense area where you got a bunch of them in a small area yeah you can really make a lot of money doing those yards you know 50 bucks a pop so yeah y'all i mean a lot of things to consider there when it comes to pricing and uh your minimum too uh, right now, mine's 50. Uh, I will make an exception from time to time. You know, if it's, you know, trying to help somebody out that I know may be struggling or can't afford it, a single mom, and trying to take care of her kids and that kind of thing, I'll take that into consideration. I may, you know, I'll probably do less than, than 50, especially if it's a really small yard, that kind of thing, guys. So, yeah. And if I got yards around on that kind of thing. So, yeah, there's other things you can consider when it comes to pricing certain yards. But in my opinion, the majority of the cases, majority of situations uh you're gonna yeah i don't think that's a good idea to have a minimum at 80 plus because there's a lot of yards you're gonna miss out on guys if uh, that's that's the case you know like i said there's plenty of yards less than that that you can make good profit on i take that don't take long at all where the customer will be willing to pay that amount you know that kind of thing guys so yeah just thought i'd throw it out there guys uh hope this is helpful you know, bring up some discussion, you know, think about that kind of thing, guys. But yeah, God bless each and every one of you. Hope you're having a great week so far. And uh, stay cool and hydrated. Talk to you later.